Hi, my name is Ralph George, the CTO and co-creator and founder of the DSD app together with Dr. Christian Goachman. I'm going to show you how to finish a case in a couple of minutes. Top left, menu bar, new case, smile design. You can select pictures or take pictures of your patient. For the smile design, we need frontal facial smile, frontal facial retracted, and a video interview of your patient. It's not mandatory. Everything what we do, we go from left to right, at the bottom we have the options, resize, rotate, references. First you have to resize the picture so that the face fits the oval. You can use gestures or you can use the tools. Make sure the middle line of the oval overlaps the dental middle line of the patient. Rotate. The application is scanning the face. Now you have the commissural line and the interpupillar line. Clicking on the targets, you can adjust the position of the targets and make sure the position is accurate. Click on calibrate rotation. Now the rotation is calibrated. Move the picture back to the middle line if needed. If you want to adjust the rotation manually, you can use the tools. References. These lines are used for setting a, a, a reference. Use the incisor line to mark the incisor line of the patient and distal right and left. Important for the calibration of the second picture. Next, now we are scanning the retract the picture, moving the opacity slider from the right to left will display the full smile picture or the retracted picture. Adjust the position and the size of the retracted picture. Make sure the overlapping is as good as possible, only concentrate on the mouth area. Measurements. Measure a value at your patient. Put the targets exactly at the same place and enter the value in millimeters in the system. Now, the real value of the patient is calibrated with the system. Smile design screen. You can choose between smile, full smile and retracted picture. Make sure the position of both pictures is the same. You can use the arrows to adjust the position of the picture. Clicking on the top right full screen button, you can watch the picture in full screen. Clicking on the help icon, you can watch video tutorials and the documentation about every single step. Taking pictures, calibrate, smile design. First, we have to design the smile frame. The length of the central incisor can be set with the slider. The ratio, the width, the proportion between the width and the length, chord ratio, can be set with the second slide. Turn on the incisor curve and design the incisor curve 
using the right and left control sliders. You can turn off the symmetry of the inside line and now design for each size differently. Click on the target. Using the arrows, you can move the targets up and down and so design the incisal curve. Turn on the gingival curve, the symmetry again off. Now you can design the gingival line using the same tools. When you are happy with the smile frame, go to the next option, select shapes. Now you have several shapes. You can scroll down the screen, select a set of shapes. Now we adjust shapes. First we have the info of the length and width of the central incisor. Can be display or hide with the eye button. The frame option and hide and show the frame option. Also you can go to full screen and come back to the smile design screen. You can change position with the position arrows. You can group the shapes and then move them up and down. You can select one shape, move, resize the shapes linked the right and left side. You can turn the link option off and now change just one shape, one side. You can use the reflect option to reflect the same size, the same shape to the opposite side like this. You can rotate the shapes and move them into the right position. You can also use again the reflect option to design the opposite side exactly the same. You can again show the frame as a visual reference and change your design or adjust your design. You can play the video interview of your patient. Now you can select the color. We have four different structures. You can change the brightness, you can change the saturation, the warmth, the vibrance, the tint. Finalize your smile design. Next step, mark the lip. This portion of the lip will cover the new smile design. When you click on the targets and hold, you can use the magnify tool to mark the lip accurately. Now your smile design is under the lip, as you can see. You can use the arrows to adjust the position. Next option is to adjust the color according to the face and the rest of the feet. Using the shades option you can darken the premolar so that you get a natural look of, of the smile. The gum layer. To hide gums defects we use the gums, the gums layer. You can turn the opacity of the new smile design off. You can now see the new gum layer. You can adjust the saturation so that it matches the patient's color. You can also play with the opacity. 
finalize your smile design. Using the slider you can show before and after. Swiping through the screen you will see side by side result. Share on Facebook, Instagram, email or Twitter. Go to the next screen. You can do measurements important for the lab or for your team for further planning, log values, gums correction. You can select the measurement and delete it. You can make drawings and add notes by clicking on the spot and enter a note. Next, enter the name of the patient. patient number, date, you can share the case, the PDF created with the smile design and the shapes with your team, sending by email. You can click on the DSD app PDF and watch the PDF created with smile, frame, shapes, notes, measurements, everything. You can save the case on cloud or tablet. Go to my cases. You can reopen a case. And here you'll find the portfolio of your smile designs. So thank you very much.